It's 9.02. First thing Thursday morning. We're waiting for the tow truck man. A family in Yamhill County. This is very stressful. Crossed their fingers. Last week, someone stole their trailer containing telescopes, including a big blue, worth about $15,000. But Wednesday, someone driving down a rural Yamhill County road spotted the trailer abandoned. I knew before I even got up there. that Sergeant Sam Elliott with the Yamhill County Sheriff's Office responded and found the trailer with most of the stolen things still inside. Well, it's just a great reminder that we all are working together for the same mission. A smaller telescope is gone. And despite some damage to the big one. Well, at least it's here, huh? Blue is here, you guys. Forrest Babcock and his wife, Janet Zelke, are celebrating. You got your crown jewel back. How does it feel? Oh, <laughs> We were like a couple of little kids who woke up on Christmas morning. Before COVID, the couple took the telescope on the road to wineries, empty lots, schools, giving kids and adults in rural Oregon a window to space. I worked on that telescope for 48 years. Big Blue is the centerpiece of a bigger dream, a science center focused on astronomy, a dream that can now move ahead again. KGW's story about the stolen telescopes got huge response. The amount of interest is, is pretty amazing. It was one of our top stories online for four days straight. For those people who've never seen this telescope, this still touched a nerve. People who look through this telescope think of it as almost their own. And if you ever look through that telescope and saw the rings of Saturn for the first time, it's, it's a visceral feeling. And it affects you. You remember it. The opportunities that would have been lost from the impact and the inspiration that this telescope represented, you couldn't put a price on that. Big Blue will need some repairs, but to the couple who thought their decades of work were gone forever. Oh, we're over the moon, if you will. <laughs> there you go. Things are looking up. Galen Etlin, KGW News.